I just emerged from the dark. That was brilliant. Hey, what's up, team? Welcome to today's video. And in today's, something slightly different. I'm off to go train with Lewis Harrison. Chest and tries. Wait, we did shoulders and arms. Sorry, shoulders, <laughs> shoulders and arms. I don't even know what I trained. Um, now, I actually have an already gone and trained with him. This is actually two weeks in the future. Hence why my hair is longer now than it is when we're training. Uh, just due to the fact that I lost my memory card, which I filmed the intro in. Um, yes, very sad, but luckily, SP Visuals got our back. He filmed a nice, sick little edit for us, um, plus the Q&A afterwards. So it's a really good video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll see you. Oh. Then I'll see you in the gym. Yes, guys, how's it going? We are gonna hit delts, arms, and a muffin. Yes, we are. I mean, I thought I'd uh, thought we'd hit delts with the delt man himself. <laughs> um, it's gonna be good. Can't wait. Uh, I've already smashed my rice. Two meals in, so carved up. Carved up. I'm carving up. Getting some sugars in as well. Should be sick. We're gonna hit some pre-workout. Get that buzz. Get it going. What do you want to start with? Big compound. Big compound. Let's get some pressing in. Yeah. And uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, and then we'll go into some like Side. isolations, some sides. Sides. Don't forget the rears. Like, drop sets. Yeah, drop sets, sets. All that stuff. Everything. High volume. High volume. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna be sick. You know, it's a good pre-workout when you get that tingle <laughs> down your jaw. <laughs> So we just finished up the workout, uh, shoulders and arms, high volume as usual. Uh, and we're gonna do a little Q&A together, uh, put a little poll questionnaire on Instagram. We're gonna answer your questions. So let's uh, fire see, away. see what you guys have got in store for us. Right, let's go from the first one. Can I train shoulders and back together with a few variations? Yeah. I would say so, yeah. Yeah, 100%, I always find Combining muscle groups is uh, probably a better way to do it because you should always try and aim to train everything at least twice a week. Yeah, I would say so. People normally go off that classic bro split, don't they? Like chest tries, back buys, but sometimes it is good to switch it up. Yeah, always say you always say you can combine things and double the muscles, double the pump. Exactly. <laughs> double the girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to see your protein intake per day. Watch out. Uh, ranges between like 220, 230 per day. Yeah. I mean, it's all dependent on your goal really, isn't it? Yeah. And then obviously high weight. A lot of factors come into play, but mine's probably similar. But I would say... How much do you weigh? I'm around 89 right now. 89. I'm yeah. about 94. Yeah. So a few extra grams here yeah, and there. Yeah, a few extra grams. But then, I think people that obviously struggle to get that food in as well like me my appetite isn't great like do you know what i mean so i tend to like have more shakes through the day just so i'm hitting my protein for the day so if you do struggle then i would advise obviously taking shakes yeah so get that hit, hit your protein for the day it's always always easier and more, more convenient yeah especially if you don't have time or that much of a uh, appetite yeah but unfortunately for me i have an insatiable one so. <laughs> he has a very good one i have a very sh shit one <laughs> A healthy dessert. Is there a healthy dessert? I mean, if you're gonna have dessert, I think you should just have dessert. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, if you're having a cheat meal, if I'm having a cheat yeah, meal, I'm having dessert eat. after. <laughs> I mean, what I always say is like, you can always make protein powders into like some, you can blend it with like some frozen fruit and ice and make it like a little, like yogurt and stuff, but sometimes. Healthy stuff. Healthy. Yeah. But I always say like, if just, just, just treat yourself, it's not going to kill you. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not going to be detrimental. 
Um, like, what is it? One good meal is not going to make you ripped. Yeah, exactly. One, one bad meal is not going to make you insanely obese. Favorite. Favorite fitness YouTuber? Me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even class myself as a YouTuber. Yeah. Um, I've got a few. I've got quite a few as well. I like I like watching Calvin Morgan. Yeah. I like watching Steve Cook. Steve Cook for me was like the original motivation to do like YouTube fitness. Yeah. And everything like that. So. Even be, like before that, like my original guys would actually go to would be Ziz. Yeah. Um, Greg Plitt. Oh man, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, because his videos were just like oh, the next level. Yeah. But that, that was like you. You get pumped just watching them. <laughs> yeah, but like even when I was like 19, 20, I used to come home from work, put a great click video on, and then go to a gym that was probably smaller than this room, and just, just, just bash it out. It was just like, it was on another level. 100%. He was so good. I used to, um, again for me, like Steve Cook was a big motivation. And you know, originally, uh, I used to watch a lot of Matt Ogus when he used to be, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, when he used to be like the biggest name in the YouTube industry and uh, a few others, but... That original, like, Gymshark crew. Yeah, the Gymshark crew, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, man. Like, and obviously, I used to watch these videos because I used to like the festivals. Man, yeah. There was the aesthetics crew then, back then. So I, 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 I did a portion of that. Yeah. Like, I was, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be that guy in those short shorts. <laughs> yeah. I still have my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's me. Yeah, I, I got girlfriends. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lat pull downs or sit downs? <laughs> Both. <laughs> pull downs or sit downs. Uh, competition in a future? For As us? in, like, would we compete? Uh, not now. No. It's not. I, I, I have in the past, and we were actually talking about it before. Yeah, it's it's about just before. for our, like, what we want from life and what we're doing at the moment, it's just not. Especially with, like, especially when you're running, like, a business as well, like, you've got, like, Clients to look after it isn't exactly the same as way to like no because you keep those clients. Your head, yeah. your motivation, your head, and you become very, you become very OCD about certain things yeah. and other things that should be important. They lose in your mind importance. Yeah. So when you should be working on your business and yourself, all you're thinking about is your next meal. Yeah. So I also think that it like, gives you like some people might disagree with me, but if you're into competing, you're into competing, and that's fair play to you, do you know what I mean? But I think it gives you a bad relationship with food, yeah, personally. It did, it did for me. Yeah, um, so I would never really prep anyone for... I Unless you're, like, you see it as a, I say it's good to do once, you know, to say to that you can do it, and, but just be careful because there is so many negatives, negatives to competing, because once you've done it, a lot of people, there's a thing called post-competition depression because you've been working towards a goal and then it's gone. Yeah. There's no structure and you can spiral, but that's a discussion for another. <laughs> we <laughs> yeah. could go we into this. We go forever for that. Right. Um, How to increase overall strength? I would say probably work at around 60-70%. One rep max, probably something like that, you know. You need to be obviously increasing weight each time, I'd say. I'd say, yeah, just make sure you're in a calorie surplus train hard it's it, strength will come yeah we can go you know you can go into the whole progression progression uh, progressive overload. overload yeah um but as long as you're lifting the weights you're in a slight calorie surplus you will get stronger, stronger. yeah it actually it's just consistency isn't it really over time and you'll fuse you'll know when you you'll have strong days and you'll have those bad days where you're actually like weak as piss do you know what i mean i have i, yeah. I have those days where i'm just like you know i've had people come up to me like drop spot and i'm just thinking no <laughs> No, I don't want to spot. I was pressing these last week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people overcomplicate it, or uh, what, like with all these, like, oh, you need to increase it by one point two five percent each yeah. week. But I always say, and this is the way I've lifted, and I'm sure you have yeah. as well. It's like just put yourself under the bar or under the weight, lift a little bit more each week, and you'll get stronger. Stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Easy as consistency. Um, How long do you guys train? Per session, or is this it depends on muscle group I'm doing. If it's legs, then it's over an hour. I'd yeah, say. I, I mean, on average, I'd probably say for me, it's between an hour and hour and a half. Yeah, all depends on what leg muscle. If it's legs, then I'll probably def I'm definitely going over an hour. Do you know what I mean? Because I really want to put myself in like just have a pace. Yeah, 
pain, do you know what I mean? Like, I really, I really want to test myself when it comes to like legs and stuff. Yeah, I always say I train legs the hardest. Yeah. Like, I see it as like a fitness slash like cardio torture yeah. session just to make sure that, I don't know, it's, it's a way to get fit and burn all the cheap food that I've been eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the pot noodles, desserts. What are you and pot noodles? <laughs> <laughs> Software do you use to create your content? It always looks so crisp. What do you use? Uh, honestly, I just use a. Oh, my girlfriend will kill me if I get this wrong. <laughs> um, it's a Nikon 3500D or 3400D, and you just use a prime lens. And I just use a, uh, a software called Movavi. It's yeah. really simple, nice and easy. You don't need to over overcomplicate it. And, uh, yeah. I just use, but actually I use Final Cut and then get some other guy to film it. He does it for me. Oh, I've got Zane here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some of these are funny. One just says, yo. Yo. Absolute classic question. Right, let's refresh this. Best way to eat <laughs> Let's just eat crazy. Uh, sprinkle it on your steak <laughs> or eggs. Or like me, put it in your coffee. No, but. <laughs> I, there's two, I always get asked this question as well, like should you cut, should I use crazy when cutting? Yes, I'd say so. I think it, it, it's a cheap supplement and it's good, but I'd only use monohydrate. I wouldn't use any other yeah, like, crazy. Create alkaline, you know what I mean? All this came out about. As long as you take five grams of monohydrate yeah. any time of the day, it doesn't matter yeah. when you take it. <laughs> Your height. Uh, I'm six five. I'm seven two. <laughs> 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 um, I'm uh, 181 centimeters, which is uh, I'm literally like half centimeter away from six foot. So up there, don't you? yeah, I'm rounded up. I'm six foot. <laughs> I'm five ten. Give me a good top man heel. Probably about six foot, six one. Nice. You know what I mean? Good, nice heel nice. from top yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is why I'm wearing Air Max. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like 6'2 in this. <laughs> do I you don't. utilize intermittent fasting? <laughs> no. No, I don't do it. Um, I think if you want to. I, see. I think there's a period of time where I did actually do some fasting. And to be fair, my energy levels were, I'd probably say, higher. But was my physique changing? No. No. Um, I've, I've never used it because I'm really hungry in the mornings um, <laughs> and honestly it's just another way of putting yourself in a deficit yeah. um, just like any other diet does yeah. so I mean if it works with a, within your schedule just do it but otherwise if you don't like it you yeah, don't have don't to do, do it. it. What works for you guys? Uh, as, a kid. as a kid what was your dream career and when did you when did it turn it into what it is now? Oh man, well, originally I wanted to be like a porn star, but then uh, <laughs> obviously uh, that didn't work out. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> he, he's still getting uh, naked basically on, on camera, but you know. Um, I, I don't know, I always wanted to do something in fitness. I mean, I've done, I was a personal trainer for six years. I've worked in an office, I've done sales, I've done everything. But, you know, I just always wanted to kind of give back my, what I knew about fitness to uh, the world, just help people get in better shape and I just pushed towards it and it's come, so. I was exactly know. the same, yeah. I used to work in a gym, paying extortion at rent, but then obviously we wanted to give back to people and basically take it all online. What's effective ab workouts and how often a week? Abs is a big one, like, don't think that you, if you train abs, you're going to get abs. You need to get your body fat down to a certain percentage to obviously see those abs. What is it? The classic statement, abs are not made in the gym. They're made in the kitchen. There we go. Finishing, <laughs> we're finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> That's meant to be. Your name on Yeah. <laughs> What's better, steady state cardio or hit cardio? Yeah. I mean, this is a big question, but I say, it, again, it, it's what you prefer. Yeah. Uh, I hate walking on a treadmill. Oh, I hate walking on a treadmill. I hate stairmaster and that, but then again, like even if you look at studies, like it's not much difference between hit cardio and, and like steady state. You so, just put, you're just burning calories yeah, in the day. It's, it's just there to 
increase fat loss, innit? To put you in more of a deficit, really. Exactly. So, There's no right or wrong answer. It's just if you want to. Um, I, uh, do you do much cardio? Uh, I do like a uh, hit session once a week. Yeah. And then I'll warm up on the cross trainer. That's it. Yeah. I'm about the same. Yeah. Jamie, cardio kills us games, man. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I can't, can't be wasting away. <laughs> One more question for the day. We'll see if there's any, see if anyone put anything else. Um, ooh. Have you dealt with injuries in the past? Ooh. How have I dealt, or have you dealt with them? Have you dealt, and how have you dealt with them? I think the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah, what's really? your worst injury, and how have we dealt with them? I was squatting one time, and there was, I think I was doing like three plates aside. It was stupid, to be fair. Or, like maybe four or something like that, and I put the squat, the obviously the safety bars, I put them through a little bit too low, uh, and so when I was down at the bottom, I was like, fucking hell, like, I'm gonna have to like fling this off my back. So I kind of fling it off my back, and I caught my hand on the way down, and then I had this pain in my little finger, and I was like, oh, well, I hope that's what I think it is. And as the bar must have just been touching, obviously the bars would go through the squat rack, I must have just clipped the nail and I just ripped the fingernail out like, oh. straight away and I was like this. And then I looked at it and then I looked on the phone and the nail was there. But everyone thinks, oh, it's not that bad. But I'm telling you, there was so much blood and it was just throbbing. Oh, and it was man. three plates aside that were on this landing right? And they were, even the doctor went, well, you've done a good job of that, haven't you? Oh, you know mate. I mean? oh. But it wasn't even that, that was the worst. It was when I actually went to hospital and they tried to clean it and you're like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and then they had to have the injections like to numb the pain, but then even that didn't numb the pain. I was like, no, 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 you're not doing that. And I was like, and then I think I've torn a hamstring twice, but not like bad, bad, but like it was enough to put me out for at least three weeks. Fucking training hell. legs. I mean, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? I, so my, I used to play rugby before um, I started training. Uh, I, I've broken like so many bones. I used to broken both my wrists, broken my elbow, these three fingers, my nose, but <laughs> lifting <Fuck> career, <laughs> my biggest injury was I was on the hack squat and um, I was doing the Tom Platts, stupid, they would never recommend doing it, don't Google it. Um, what is that? Is that is so it? it's where you like lean forward, oh, yeah. I was doing too much weight, so I went down and there was this massive boom. And I fell like, and my, I tore my quadricep tendon right up. And I was seven weeks out from my competition. What the hell? And uh, yeah, I couldn't train my right leg for six months. Fuck no. Well, three months I started training it because I'm, you know, obviously, but it atrophied so much. I still competed, still did my cardio every day, but I wasn't like, the leg shrunk and it's never healed. It's, I mean, it's still there, I can still feel yeah, it. Yeah. And this leg is so much weaker now. Yeah, I had physio, I did everything right, but it's just, it just never healed correctly. And you just gotta work around it. Like I just did a lot of rehabilitation, just make sure you're not being silly, learn from our mistakes, be safe, and just, you're in it for the long run. Yeah, <laughs> so just think don't, about it that way, like yeah. stacking weights on and stuff yeah, like that. Man. Like, Obviously, when, when we started our lifting careers, it's probably like when we were like thinking, oh, you need to lift all this weight to like, I know, you know right? And it's it's just a myth. Is you, it, I mean? you don't need to. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I lift heavy. I every now and again, oh, yeah, it's like three three four plates. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not like sometimes I'll I'll still squat and my squats come up. I mean, I'll 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 squat five plates. I'll bench three plates every now and again, but then that'll be like once a month. And then every t everything else will be like time and attention. I won't, yeah. I won't go any more volume, yeah, yeah. More volume. Um, and just focus on that because your body can only take so much. Like I did deadlifts for the first time the other day in a month, and I absolutely threw my back out. <laughs> and I'm like, Why? I don't deadlift. Yeah, no, yeah. don't. No, like, yeah. Uh, well, you, you should. It's good exercise. So but just be smart. smart like, I went yeah. straight into four plates without deadlifting for a month. Obviously, you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> But Definitely. yeah, man, you just need it for the long run. And just I said, be smart with it. Be smart. Don't don't put yourself in that that position where you're actually gonna injure yourself because that is the worst thing ever being injured, isn't it? It's just like depression central. Mm. So you can't work towards something. Yeah. So just stay safe out there and 
like the results the results will still come you don't need to be silly with the training yeah. right guys uh, they have it there's a little bit of a Q&A at the end for you um, obviously the workout as well which will be a sick edit and they have it chest and tries wait we did shoulders and arms sorry shoulders <laughs> Yeah. Shoulders and arms. I don't even know what I trained. For some reason, I was looking at my chest like that. I was thinking, yeah, like, my, my chest quite big there. Like, I was thinking, I've worked out chest there. I definitely I, I, I got a pump. <laughs>